Hey YouTube and IGTV, welcome back to another market update. And you might notice that I'm wearing long sleeves for one of the first times on these updates. It's finally cooling off here in Phoenix. It's actually a little chilly today, uh, if I do say so myself. It's about 60, let me see, 60 on the dot. So um, a little cold for us Phoenicians here but I decided to do this outside today because um, for once it's not scorching, so that's kind of a nice change. Um, but updates, okay, so a few things. Um, first of all, forbearance um, has been going down um, on a national scale, so that's really good. Forbearance is where uh, people are uh, pushing their mortgage payments out to a later date because they can't afford them at the time. So we're seeing a lot of that drop off, which is really good. Um, one thing that we are likely going to see is a spike in foreclosures, but it will be extremely quick, most likely, and it's going to look like it's a big spike because we're basically going from zero to actually having some foreclosures and then things will level off. So just be prepared. That's probably what we're going to start hearing about, but it's not going to be like a mass foreclosure crisis. It's these folks that um, have done forbearance and unfortunately have decided to go to foreclosure and it may all happen at once. Again, going from like zero to a bunch in one spike and then things will kind of settle off. So that's where we are as far as that goes, but I did want to talk a little bit about um, foreclosures because there are are a lot of things that you can do to avoid foreclosure if that's um, a reality you feel like you're facing. Um, because now is very different than it was in 2008 when we had a lot of folks foreclosing, mainly because most people have a lot of equity in their homes right now because of price appreciation. So if you've owned your home for a few years or even a year, you likely have um, some equity in the house. So one of the things that you can do, um, especially because of the um, legislation that was passed due to COVID, um, you can borrow against your retirement account. Of course, all of these things are things that you should speak to you know, a CPA about or um, a financial planner, anyone who helps you with those things. But there are options where you can borrow against your retirement account to pay off the house or pay down the principal and then pay yourself back instead. So that's an option. Um, there are also options to refinance and make your payments a little bit more manageable. Um, and then in addition, you can probably rent out your house because rental payments are so high right now. So perhaps an idea would be to move out and maybe stay with a family member or find a place that's more affordable and rent your house out and then be able to pay your mortgage with that money. Um, and then also you could sell it. Like I said, you probably have some equity. So if you sell your home, um, take that equity and go buy something else or, you know, at least take the equity and, and be done with that property. Um, avoiding foreclosure would be the best option if you can do that because um, if you do get a foreclosure, um, I think it's about seven years before you can apply for a mortgage again. So you really don't want to be put in that situation. It would be best to avoid as much as possible. So there are resources nowadays for those types of things. So before you think that is a route for you or you know a family member, make sure you look into some of these other options because they might be very helpful for you. Um, also, um, here in Phoenix, our governor has just released $7 million for housing assistance for landlords and um, renters right now um, due to the COVID crisis. So this is assistance for both ten tenants and landlords um, that has come out to help with that. So if you're in a situation where you know, you're either a landlord or a tenant, um, there are resources for that. So make sure you look into that. All right, talking about the market index, another record this week, 358. And you guys, I remember when I was saying 340 and I was like, this is just nuts. I think even at 336, this is just nuts. Well, we're at 358 now. So, you know, next week I might be saying 360, we'll see. 
um, but our demand is 34% above normal, um, which has continued to climb slightly. Our supply has stayed pretty stable, about 63% below normal. So it's low, but it's not getting any lower. So that's at least good news. Um, interest rates hit another all-time low. We're at 2.78%. So that's obviously what's fueling a lot of this demand. We have people motivated to buy because they can borrow money for cheap um, on their mortgages. So um, that's really helping the demand, which we don't need much help with right now. That's one of the reasons our prices continue to go up because we have so much demand. Um, and then also in terms of our sales here in phoenix we are so far having the best fourth quarter ever recorded in terms of sales volume which is crazy um, we are also on track to probably have the second best year ever in terms of sales volume um, here in phoenix so a lot of people out there buying and selling homes and um, really creating records for our city. Um, our days on market has increased by one day. So the median days on market is nine and it has been eight for a while. So we'll see what happens. That's just based on last week's data. So it may go back down to eight. Um, I don't foresee us seeing a trend um, going upwards, but we'll see what happens there. And the number of homes selling over the asking price is at 36%. That's been hovering between like 33 to 35% for the last few months as I've been reporting on it. And we're at 36 now, so it went up just a little bit. But those are my updates for this week. I hope that's helpful. And again, if you are uh, thinking that you may have to do a foreclosure or you know someone who has been considering that option, I encourage you to look into some of those other options because um, there may be some benefit to that so you don't have to go into foreclosure. Again, no one wants to have that and not be able to buy another home for seven years. So if you have questions about that, reach out to me. I can connect you with some resources. And um, of course, if you have questions about anything else, you can reach out anytime. I hope everybody has a great week and stay warm because it's a chilly 60 degrees here and we're not used to it. <laughs> Until next week. Bye guys.